lead, the whole lead system really needs to be reevaluated for existing buildings because it's, um, it was not designed that way and you're just kind of putting a square peg in a round hole. Um, but doing the analysis of the usefulness of an old building um, and the idea that um, while we have the right to demolish the buildings in many cases, property owners, that the, we need to start to think as a community, as a society, that it may be individual private property, but it's a community heritage. And that you may have the right to demolish the building, but um, don't people in the future have the right to appreciate it? And the answer is unfortunately legally no in most cases. And that's, I think, going to take a whole shift in thought. And I think the other shift in thought is to stop thinking of buildings as disposable. Um, I am of an age where I remember when Veteran Stadium was built. And it's, it's gone because somebody thought it was no longer functional. Well, the Coliseum's been there for a couple thousand years, you know? It, and it's like we have to stop thinking in terms of 10-year, 20-year lifespan for buildings. And I think, I think I mentioned earlier about barns, a farmer who built a big stone barn was not building it for himself. He was building it for his children and his grandchildren. And the idea that he as a farmer would sacrifice the money, time, and energy to do something that would outlast him and be a benefit for future generations is a philosophy most people who build today don't take. We're in a disposable society and um, we treat a lot of things as disposable. We, I think there's a myth that somehow science will fix everything. We can screw up everything we do in our environment, in our buildings, and somewhere down the road somebody's going to invent some way to make it better. And we don't have to really worry about it, which to me is pretty short-sighted as a, as a uh, society. Um, like people who ignore global warming. You know, you know, somewhere in the future scientists will figure out something to do about it. Well, um, that's a bet that I'm not sure we should make. And so, bringing it back down to buildings, appreciating buildings that are here, helping them last for future generations, building them better in the first place, um, incorporating uh, timelessness and beauty and uh, you know, strength in a building is uh, something I think we society should strive towards and, and barns are emblematic of that a hundred years ago the way they were built. And it's probably part of the reason why people appreciate it.